Now to the Kristen Smart murder trial back underway today after delay over an unnamed evidence issue on Friday. Reporter Richard Gearhart with our Scripps affiliate KSBY has a wrap up from Salinas tonight. A contractor who built Ruben Flores' home and a roommate who lived in that house with Ruben from 2010 to 2020 were both on the witness stand. But before any testimony could begin, the judge once again met with jurors with upcoming attendance conflicts. Testimony was once again delayed for about an hour Monday morning in the murder trial for Paul and Ruben Flores, while Monterey County Superior Court Judge Jennifer O'Keefe met with several jurors independently to discuss conflicts in attendance. This latest delay followed an early end to proceedings on Friday after only about 15 minutes of testimony. Shortly after 9.30 Monday morning, the contractor who built the house Ruben currently lives in started answering questions. Deputy DA Chris Pavrell asked him if they found any remains under or near the house when workers were building the deck and if any serious injuries were reported by workers. Developer Ed Chadwell answered no to both. During cross-examination, Paul's attorney showed Chadwell some pink construction twine and asked him if it was similar to what he used to mark out the foundation in 1991. He said it is similar and the color he preferred to use was pink as it shows up well. Sanger also asked if he'd ever used diesel fuel as a release agent to help the concrete from sticking to the construction forms. Chadwell said it was common practice in the 90s and that he'd sometimes used it. The questions are likely to explain some of the items found in the soil under the deck during a search of the home, including discoloration in the dirt and red fibers. Kristen Smart was wearing red at the time of her disappearance. It was a busy day of testimony in the afternoon. A former roommate who lived with Ruben for 10 years testified about his time in the house. David Stone told jurors Ruben once got mad at him for moving a few empty plastic 55-gallon drums into a space under the deck. He also testified he overheard Ruben referring to Kristen as an expletive slut. Under cross-examination from both the Flores attorneys, he said he got along with Ruben during his time there and moved out voluntarily. Two investigators with the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office testified. Detective Matt Terrell described serving a search warrant at Ruben's house. He showed pictures of items found in a drawer in Ruben's bedroom. The items, including flyers, newspaper articles, and postcards referring to the case. Monday wrapped up with a neighbor of Ruben Flores testifying about what she described as strange activity during February of 2020. Jamie Lynn Holman says she heard lots of arguing and other noise as Ruben and Susan Flores, along with Susan's boyfriend, removed part of a fence and then parked a cargo trailer next to the house all after dark. We are also continuing to keep our eye on that jury count. There are four of the eight original alternates left on Paul's jury and three alternates on Ruben's. In Salinas, Richard Gearhart, KSBY News.